What is up guys? After the October sober trend, I've had an idea for some cool vids to publish all throughout November. This series is going to be all about night vision. We'll start from the basics and how night vision works, I'll show you how to set up an helmet for your night vision goggles, we'll talk accessories, some tips and tricks, and I also got for you guys a new and pretty cool recording device to pair with your nods. Finally, I'll blast out some footage from a live fire, night combat training and possibly from a milsim game I'm attending halfway through this month. We are going pitch black for this series, so brace yourself and let's kick in Night Vember. Oh, and by the way, kick my ass in the comments below if you think this name is f stupid. Alright, first of all, how do night vision works? Night optical devices are provided with image enhancement technology that collects photons, tiny amounts of light, including the lower portion of the infrared spectrum, which may be imperceptible to our eyes, and amplifies that. This is possible through a photocathode that converts these photons into electrons, and then amplifies those electrons into a microchannel plate or MCP before they hit a screen coated with green colored phosphor. By maintaining the exact position of the photons going through the MCP, the converted electrons are then multiplied and, when they hit the screen, this energy excites the phosphor, releasing photons, creating a visible green new image. Basically, you are not looking at the image itself, but rather a recreation of it. Also, the phosphor screen is purposefully colored in green because the human eye can differentiate more shades of green than any other phosphor color. The history of night vision is not even 100 years old and has its origins in the military seeking to give troops an advantage, making them able to see at night. During World War II, the Germans successfully developed night vision systems for their Panther tanks and even a portable NVD called Vampire. Both US and Soviet Union developed similar solutions in parallel, yet these devices still required a good amount of infrared light to work and they were very large, bulky, with limited range, to say the least. The first generation of night vision came during the Vietnam War. Finally, these devices were able to operate just with ambient light, by amplifying it by a factor of 8000. One example of such devices is the Starlight Scope. Gen 2 and Gen 2 Plus nuts made further improvements from the previous generations, as far as light amplification, image resolution and reliability but these devices are still very limited with rapidly changing lights. Finally came the third generation, which is the latest known night vision technology, with a 30,000 to 50,000 light amplification and a much reduced power consumption, gallium arsenide in the photocathode and an ion barrier coating of the MCP, which increases longevity of the components. Also, these advanced devices are provided with auto-gating functions. Auto-gated tubes control the amounts of light that gets through the MCP, so it's possible to operate these devices even with rapidly changing lights, and even during daytime, without damaging the tubes. So the obvious question is, what should I buy? My honest opinion is that night vision gets money worth just with the third generation, and you're pretty much wasting money buying lower grade devices. Sure, Gen 3s are very expensive, the price tag for a monocular PVS14, which is pretty much the gold standard and most versatile option, is between 1800 to 2500 bucks. But if you're serious about night vision, spare some more and get a proper Gen 3 nod. Otherwise, you'll be spending this kind of money plus the amount you wasted before. If you think you'll never have this kind of money, then I much rather invest in a good white light system, such a shoe fire. Also consider that owning a night vision goggle is basically just the first step to a complete combat system, as you'll need to invest in proper 
aiming devices as well, such as higher lasers, lights and or some sort of illuminated reticles, some of which are even IR compatible. But that's for another episode. How you'll be using your night vision device, that's pretty much up to you. Personally, I use it for photography, video making, home defense, training and night for some force simulations. But really, owning a solid night vision device is a great tool to have at your disposal. Alright guys, that's about it for this episode. Let me know in the comments below how you like owning the night. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, stay safe out there.